wanted to make a video introducing myself and my channel to all the viewers out there. Um, this is a channel just about me video vlogging about my day. Um, I've been vegan, vegetarian, gluten free for about five years now. And um, I just wanted to share with the world um, how great the vegan, vegetarian, and gluten free diet um, really makes me feel. It really improves my life. And I just felt really good about it. And I just wanted to share with other people how to feel good also. Um, on my channel, I've done um, like food videos and um, I've done cosmetic videos, which hopefully are vegan or at least vegetarian. Um, ever since I was a little girl, I was always interested in PETA and I learned about animal cruelty and how cruel like the animals are treated on um, farms and the living environments they live in. And when I was 18, I started, or maybe 16, I started to be a vegetarian. I was a vegan, actually, for six months, and then I had to take a break from it. And then six months, um, for another six months, I was vegan again. And then um, I felt that maybe I wasn't doing too well on the diet, but when I was 24, um, I figured out that I have a sensitivity to gluten and dairy. So I started eliminating those from my diet and I just became a happier person ever since then. And like I said, I just wanted to share things with the world that really just make me feel great, feel like a really good person, feel like a really strong person, a strong woman. And I wanted to other I wanted other people to have the experience to um, experience how great a vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free lifestyle can really be. Um, I'm really into like knowing what's out there that could be um, or that is harmful to animals. Um, these things are like. Um, raising animals and killing them for um, human consumption or just um, how inhumane some dogs and cats are treated. Um, I know a lot are picked up by the SPCA and I'm one of those types of people that if I ever see like a dead animal on the freeway or inside the road or something, I just kind of, I just take a minute and I stop and I kind of just pray for that animal, and I know I cannot do anything um, that's happened, that's been hurtful, that's happened to that animal, but whenever I see a hurt animal, I just feel so, like, heartfelt for it. I just wish it would just pop up, and if it's like a deer or dog or something, I just wish it start trotting on to, like, the side of the road or something. It's like a normal human would, and I guess a big part of me wants, like, dogs and cats just to experience every day, or, like, any animal just to experience every day, like, we as humans experience um, living as a human every day. I mean, like, this life is, like, totally wonderful, it's totally great, and I'm all about um, anything that helps support animal cruelty or animal testing and um, clothing or beauty or cosmetics, I'm totally in for it. And those things just really kind of make me happy. Um, I've tried to do a lot of blogging on my Facebook page, which I have a link on um, my YouTube website. And um, I'm really into like vegan clothing. Um, those things are like cotton, spandex, um, faux leather, faux fur. I don't think I have any faux fur items, but like faux leather, I have two faux 
um, leather jackets, one black and one is brown and I have like a partially faux leather skirt but um, it has, faux leather has nothing to do with animal cruelty. Um, I was really passionate about just eating healthy and um, I started to eat whole grains um, some years ago or try to stick to a whole food, whole grains diet, um, which is gluten free. Um, I really love like brown rice and quinoa and millet and sorghum and buckwheat. Um, sometimes I can eat gluten free oats, but not all the time. Um, um, I used to try to steer away from beeswax and honey just because in my mind I thought that the bees would be harmed or killed during um, the time that they, um, the bee farmers would capture their honey and beeswax and I just really felt bad for those bees and in my heart I couldn't wear a product that I knew hurt or killed an animal. I just couldn't do it. I just, if I did at the time, I would just have to take it off and I would just kind of feel horrible. Like, I know I'm going to have nightmares all, like, during the night and in my heart I just didn't feel like a true happy person knowing that I was a person that abused an animal or an insect for my own good. And those products just didn't make me feel happy. They didn't make me feel good. I mean, come on. What part of, like, animal slaughter for a beauty product would make me at least feel good? No, it doesn't work for me. It just makes me feel horrible. So I just wanted to share with the world that um, using products or eating certain vegan, vegetarian um, foods um, and gluten-free foods would just, it totally improved your life. Um, for me, I feel that I've just totally created a lifestyle for myself. And ever since I was younger, I've always wanted to be one of those, like, keto awareness people. And um, just to accept the lifestyle that is against um, kind of animal cruelty and, like, hurting the animals. And um, so this year I started journaling. I started on the first um, with a daily vegan companion. And I just um, read um, from that journal every day, or if I miss a day, or if I miss two days, or three days, four days, I make up for it, um, on a certain day until I catch up to the current day, and I also just like to journal about my feelings and the products that I'm really fascinated with, and, um, hopefully they're like vegan, vegetarian products that just make me feel like a stronger person and a stronger woman, and, this whole vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free lifestyle just makes me feel like I'm so much more aware of the world. I know um, more of what's around me, um, what products I'm using, um, what products uh, make me feel good, and what products just make me feel horrible. And so I just start accepting lately that um, beeswax and honey and lanolin is um, vegetarian and that when the farmers get those um, ingredients to make products they don't hurt the animals because they want the animals to stay um, in their farm and live and be happy to produce new uh, wonderful products so that the farmers can make money so after all they really don't harm the bees and the sheep, they want them to live and be happy so they can make money. And so yeah, I've just started to accept um, beeswax and honey and um, lanolin lately. <laughs> and I mean, I'm not saying like every product is like beeswax or lanolin, but um, I try to limit them. Um, to what I can. Um, so, yeah. 
I was really into the raw food diet. I still am. I really love green foods, like alkaline foods that also just make me feel really good. Um, I have a whole bunch of pictures on that. Um, so to sum up this review of my channel, um, I first started out um, about five years ago. I started eating like gluten-free, vegan, um, really into like quinoa, brown rice, um, you know, like black bean, kale, and everything. And I just felt totally better about everything in life. Um, I just felt like a stronger person, a healthier person. Um, and um, throughout like the past five years or so, or lately, um, in the past two, three years, I lost about like 53 pounds. I gained some weight back, but hopefully I'll still keep on losing weight. Um, I love anything eco-friendly, um, anything that is good for the environment, I feel like is good for myself, and I feel like I'm taking care of the world that we live in. And things that make me really excited are eco-friendly things, vegan, um, vegetarian, gluten-free things. Um, yeah, so a big part of what helps me with my lifestyle is just um, expressing myself through journaling or video vlogging. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to share with the world things that make me feel really good and hopefully they'll make you feel really amazing and like a strong person like they do for me. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy my channel. Bye.